Hello, hello. Hello, good evening, guys. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Gerardo. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Vicky. Good evening. How are you guys? Como están? Cool. Thank you. Awesome. Happy to hear that. What about the rest? Como estamos los demás? Everything is okay. Awesome. You? Hello, Jorge. I'm good. Thank you for asking. How are you, How are you Jorge? Good? Hi, fine. Are you? I'm good. I'm good as well. Thank you for asking. Okay, I'm happy that you're here, guys. Um, today is a new week, right? Today is Monday. So let's go ahead and do our best today. Uh, I'm happy that, that, I, that you joined the class today so we can continue with the content. Um, just a friendly reminder right now um, at the start of the class, remember that you have until this coming Thursday, um, that is 17, uh, December 17th, you have until that day to complete the whole course, right? Uh, or at least 80% of the course, right? Como el mensajito que les mandé al chat, tenemos hasta el, el jueves de esta semana para que puedan completar el curso por lo menos en un 80%, right? Eh, ya saben, si tienen alguna duda o consulta con alguna knowledge check o examen, no duden en mandarme un mensajito para que lo podamos revisar. O si ustedes gustan, nos revisamos en la clase. Okay? Excuse me, teacher. Tell me. Yeah, how many, how many sections y, uh, there are? Sorry? How many sections we need to complete it for the next uh, day? Yeah, I get it. Um, it will be at least until section five and the health of section five, if I'm not mistaken, because both exams count for the 100%. Um, si no me equivoco, los, bueno, no, 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 no me equivoco. Los dos exámenes cuestan para el 80%. And, y tienen que hacer por los dos, el middle term exam y el final exam. Entonces, digamos que tendré que completar las primeras cuatro secciones junto con el examen de medio curso y el examen final y la mitad de la sección 5 más o menos para hacer el 80%. Ok, but where where I search the test? I don't oh. know about the, the first yes. test. Let me show you. Let me show you real quick. Ok, so please. Yeah, don't worry. Let me share my screen real quick. Just give me a minute. That is loading. All right, I have it here. Let me share the screen. I didn't notice that it was raining, guys. My, because I had my headphones, I didn't notice it's raining. All right, so we have three sections, right? One, two, Are three, we? and uh, we have five sections, right? Okay. Tenemos cinco secciones. Mm -hmm. Yes. The, the first exam that I mentioned is on section three. Uh, we have the content, this is the content, and this is the midterm exam. This will be the first one that you need to complete. And it has five sections. Once you finish this one, let's say that you're just missing two sections. Section four, okay, and section number five. This is the final exam that it has six, uh, six sections, all right, six letters both, um, you need to complete them. Uh, this is like non-negotiable if you wanna see it like that. Um, if you don't want to complete, just to give you an example, right? If you don't want to complete this whole content, do at least half of it and then do the final exam. So it takes into account the 80%. Para que los dos exámenes si, eh, digamos que si quieren hacer el 80%, 
Um, ah, el progreso. Sorry, Jorge, antes de que continúe con los exámenes. Do you, I don't know if you have this at the top of your screen. No sé si les aparece esto en, en, en el, at the top of the screen, en la parte de arriba de, de la pantalla. Y les debería de aparecer así, como course, discussion, progress. Esto no. Instructor, porque esto solo aparece para los teachers. Pero el progreso les debería de aparecer así. Ya le di clic para que veamos. Right, for example. Um, yes, Okay, so you should have it like this. Les debería de aparecer así. Yo no tengo, digamos, un progreso porque no lo, yo no lo tengo que terminar, right? Pero digamos yes. que si se fijan, por ejemplo, el midterm exam, si pongo encima el mouse, dice 80%, right? Déjenme minimizar esto. Y total, tenemos un total del 24% eh, por ciento en total, right? Entonces, esto sí lo pueden ver ustedes. Eh, le aparece Course, Discussion, and Progress. Para que ustedes solitos también vean más o menos cuánto llevan. Y es más, si se fijan, cada sección está desglosada. Right? For homeworks, cuántas han finalizado yes. para tener el 100. Yes. So, this is how you can see it. For example, the midterm exam, o, o lo revisamos con ustedes el jueves pasado. La sección 1 me dijeron que no tenía problemas, entonces digamos que no la completé. Completamos lo demás y tengo el 80% solo del midterm exam. Right? Digamos que ya haya completado lo demás. Aquí en el final les va a decir cuánto, cuánto te, eh, porcentaje en total. Y si se fijan, acá dice to... Um, let me see. Quiero ver, quiero ver. Acá dice... What are you going to do? Yes. Uh -huh. The pass, the passing score, aquí tienen que tener un 80 por lo menos, right? Si tienen el 100, mucho que mejor, I, right? Yes. I have 88. You have 88? All right, so then you're, you're doing good, all right? Si puede completarlo el 100, mejor. Yeah. Right? If you have the time, yes. Yeah, because, yeah, because I, I, I rest for me the... Uh, to finish uh, section four, um, section five. All right, so yes, yeah, section four and five. All right, but you still have time. You still have time to finish that. Mm -hmm. okay, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. All right, just give me a minute. Sorry guys, technical problems right now, <laughs> but I'm good. All right, so this is how you can see it, right? The progress, everybody can see it, right? Jorge, you mentioned you already find it, right? Me mencionó que yo lo encontró, verdad? Yes. Okay, awesome. Yes, I got it, so I got it, is... I understand. I have All right, a. no, no, no. Yes, I just wanted to make sure. So everybody can also see how they're doing, right? Para que los demás también puedan ver cómo es que, cómo es que van, right? Por ejemplo, yo que no he hecho nada, right? Sorry, me parece solo el 24%. But if you, um, if you were able to continue doing it, then you, you pretty much will have more. For example, Jorge already has 88%. And he still has time to finish everything. So he will be able to finish it at 100% later on, right? So, so far so good, guys? Vamos más o menos con esto o vamos bien? ¿Cómo vamos? con la plataforma. I am good. All right, thank you, Jorge. What about the rest? ¿Cómo estamos los demás? Recuerden de que si tienen preguntas, guys, háganlas. All right, yo más o menos antes de las 12 puedo todavía responder eh, preguntas. All right, uh, e igual. Las preguntas me las pueden wow. hacer y yo en la mañanita yo se las respondo. You are young. <laughs> yes, I'm still young. <laughs> well, I can. I'm, I'm going to continue doing it what I can, young. right? Yes. Mientras you pueda hacerlo, lo voy a seguir. You can. <laughs> you can. Yes. Dígame, Astrid. Hola, buenas noches. 
Good evening. Morning, le dije, I'm sorry, como que fuera la mañana, perdón. Good evening, dígame. Es normal que aparezca como en color gris. Yo ya terminé, pero ya tengo el Y me puede mandar screenshot de eso. Sí. Ah, chivo, porque así yo les pregunto, porque hasta donde yo sé, tendría que aparecer del mismo colorcito mío. Pero igual, yo les pregunto a ellos para ver si es normal. Jorge, ¿de qué color le aparece a usted? Gray, red. 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 All right. So, yes, send me a screenshot mm -hmm. yes. so I can report that. A mí también me sale en gris, pero siempre me ha salido así. ¿Siempre le ha salido así? Sí. Mm -hmm. Ok, that's weird. Um, claro. Ajá. Porque yo pensando que siempre había salido rojito en todos. Así como ocre, digamos. No, o Pero sea, igual. Aparte, por lo menos la parte de las cuatro secciones, de las cinco, perdón, sí sale en rojo. Ajá. Pero la parte del examen final, ese siempre sale en rojo. Ah, ok. Ah, pues yo he vivido engañada. Es que no, no he completado eso. Me voy a eso right, para que ya no, más que tomar foto ya no se guarde. Pero si le, eh, eh, lo importante, guys, Oiga. es esto, miren. Déjame mover esto por acá. All right. This ¿Puedo enviarlo? Part. Sí, por favor. Ok. So, this is the important part, right? How is the total? Y estos dos sí tienen que ir al 80 o al 100. Ese sí, digamos, que no es negociable, porque eso sí lo pide INSAFOR. El midterm exam y el final exam. All right? It's okay if you leave some things here. Está bien si dejan un par de cositas en los, en los homeworks, pero los dos exámenes sí tienen que ir al 100. Sorry? Wait, it's waited. I'm sorry? I'll call it. it. Oh, okay. He's talking to somebody else. Oh, so, I'm sorry. I asked my, my daughter. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. It's okay. Don't worry. But as I was saying, guys, these two needs to be on at least 80%. All right? Esos dos, por lo menos en un 100. Porque esos dos sí los pide Insafor y, y, y si no los tienen, ahí tampoco los dejarían continuar. Okay? Entonces, perfecto. Sí, es cierto. No me recordaba, Marcela, que las otras partes sí salen en gris y um, los dos exámenes sí salen en rojito. Uh -huh. All right. But, you know, guys. Hi, Dave. I'm sorry. No había visto su mensaje. So, uh, you know that, right? That you have to have at least 80% total. And you have to have both exams. Okay? And as I said, Hey, but quizá lo voy a aburrir con esto. But if you have any questions, let me know. All right, I'm here to help you so you can complete the course. All right, so far so good. Are we doing okay? Yes, no, maybe. All right, then I'm gonna take your silence as a yes. <laughs> All right, guys. So today we're gonna move on to section five uh, for this week, as we mentioned. Uh, this is the last week from the course, from the calls, and just give me a second. From the calls and from the course as well. Then we go back on classes till next year. All right. Vamos a regresar a clases hasta el otro año, terminando el jueves. So remember that, oh, I forgot to mention as well, guys. Uh, if you saw on the messages that I sent, you have on hey, Wednesday, December 23rd. Yes. Se lo, se lo compartí en WhatsApp porque aquí en Zoom no me deja. Sí, se ve. Sí, en Zoom mmm, creo que no deja enviar fotos. Pero uh -huh. sí, ahorita lo, lo estaba viendo <laughs> en lo que estaba hablando con ustedes. All right. Oh, vaya. A usted ya le aparece, ya lo terminó todo, todo. Ya puede descargar ¿Sí? el certificado. Awesome. Congratulations, Astrid. Yes, you. amazing. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Every day. Right. <laughs> yes, amazing. So congrats, Astrid. Now, um, and yes, it, let me... It's normal. Uh, the, the yes, it order. is normal. Yeah, it, it is normal. Let me yeah, show okay. them this to you. Se lo voy a mostrar a los demás. ¿Cómo es que se debe de ver? Okay. Puedo, compartir la, puedo compartir eso que me envió. 
Yes. Si me deja. Yes, of course. All right then, awesome, thank you. So mm -hmm. let me share that real quick. So this is how it should look, guys. This is how it should look. Así es como se debería de ver, okay? Um, for example, here, uh, Astrid already completed 100%, all right? Amazing. So for example, these two, she has 100, and these two, you cannot miss them, as I mentioned. And for example, she already completed the whole content. This plus this, it should give you 100%, right? Esto más esto les debe dar un 100%. Y si, ya recordé que debe de cambiar color para que ustedes vean la diferencia. El rojito significa um, el contenido en sí. Eh, este tipo ocre es esto que está aquí. Es el midterm exam. Y este otro grisito es el final exam. Esto lo hacen con el propósito de que se diferencie cómo es que se divide. All right. Si se fijan, guys, uh, uh, the final exam, it's like the most important one, right? Si se fijan, el examen final y el midterm exam son los que más les levantarían uh, todo, 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 todo el contenido. All right. So make sure um, todavía tienen tiempo. Okay, we have today, tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday, right? Todavía tenemos en tres días completos, digamos, y un par de horitas del día de hoy. All right, so you can, so you can finish this. I know you can do it. I mean, you've been doing it uh, here on the practice, on the calls, all right? Lo han estado haciendo bien bien en las llamadas. So I'm sure you will be able to complete the whole content, all right? So. And it's been good, it's been good, guys. So if you have any questions, let me know. We can cover them during the class or you can send me messages on WhatsApp to ask me uh, more about this, okay? So in that case, let's begin with the practice. As I mentioned, we're gonna start section five today and we're gonna focus uh, on simple past, all right? The past with B. All right. Do you remember, guys, what is uh, the verb to be? Ya le voy a responder, Dave. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. All right. Si quieren, solo le respondo esto rapidito, Dave. Dave, you need to go. Your, uh, can you can you see the screen, Dave? I, I cannot listen to you. I don't know if you have. Okay, okay. All right. So for you to see the for for you to see your progress or your score, you need to go to this part at the top on the on the left. Uh, I'm sorry, in the left top corner, top left corner, you will see something like says. Um, course, discussion, and progress, all right? If you click on progress, you're gonna see it like this. For example, I just have a 24% of the whole score because I haven't finished the, co the whole content, all right? So this is where you can see. Um, if you remember the, the one that I, the, the screen that I share from Astrid, Okay, the screen that I shared from Astrid show her that she had 100% already, right? Because she already completed the whole course. Okay, so this is where you can see it. So you know how you do it, right? Okay then, awesome. Perfect, Dave, I'm glad that you got it now. So let's continue with, with, with this, all right? So the past would be, do you remember guys, what is the verb to be and, why, and how it's used? It's okay, Dave, don't worry. Do you remember what is the verb to be? Yes, what and where. What and where. Ay, perfecto, de un solo me lo dijeron entonces. Bueno, pero vamos a comenzar, lo vamos a desglosar first, right? We have the pronouns, right? Pronouns that are I. Teacher, excuse me. Tell me. 
uh, which is the past for the past? El verbo llamar, the pasado. Can you spell me for me? Llamar, cold. Let me write it down here. Yeah. Así, cold. Yeah, please. Mm -hmm. Let me see, I don't see that. Yes, only, yeah, cold. Cold, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So the pronouns, guys. Pronouns are Thank you. you. You're welcome, Jorge. I, you, he, she, it, we, and they, right? The present for these two. Let's get in them here. Present. We're talking about B, right? It's um, R. Is, 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 R, and R. Now, then, this is for present, right? How we call in Spanish the verb yeah. cero estar, right? Que a todos los teachers de inglés no gusta repetir a cada rato, all right? So, this is cero estar. For example, I am Jennifer Valiente, right? That will be um, how I introduce myself to you. Now, let's, let me just. Then, como dijo Jorge, all right? The past of B, okay, is was, where, was, was, was. Where and where. Okay, then I'm going to add one flechita. Am is was. All right. Are is where. All of them are like this, right? So, in pocas palabras, guys, was is for singular. Let's do it here. Was singular. Where, plural, all right? And as Jorge mentioned, is for the past. For example, I am happy, right? ¿Cómo haríamos esa oración en pasado? Solo una cosa tienen que cambiar. I was happy. The bird. Perfect. That is correct. I was happy. That's correct. That's correct. Solo AM tiene que cambiar, right? Because AM is the B, is the verb to be. Es el único verbo en esta oración. All right? So that's the only one you need to change because you're talking about the past. Now, para que, digamos, ya saben ustedes que el B es cero estar. All right? Eso ya se lo conocen hasta de memoria con los ojos cerrados. Pero, ¿para qué se ocupa el cero estar, guys? ¿Qué comunican con eso? What, what do you want to say with that? No cero estar. What, what, ¿qué, su, quiero escuchar sus propias palabras. Uh, what do you use the verb to be for? ¿Qué, ¿Qué comunicamos cuando utilizamos el verbo to be? Or even in Spanish. What do you want to say when you use cero estar? Les doy un ejemplo. Yeah. I believe uh, okay. uh, give some information about yes. the uh, person. And that is correct. We, we speak about other people or mm -hmm. for myself or the other people. That is correct. For example, right? I am I am a mechanic, I am a counter, I am a pilot. Mm -hmm. That is correct. So that's it, uh, right? Uh, and I am eating right now. Mm -hmm. I am taking a shower right now, for example. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I couldn't have said it better, right? Thank you very much, Amilcar. So as Amilcar mentioned, you share more information about a person. You, what information can you share? You can share feelings, right? 
you can share um, your job. You can share um, uh, names, right? You can share, what else can you share? Mm -hmm. You can share uh, hobbies. Uh -huh, jobs, right? Uh -huh. What else? Feelings, jobs, names. Um, we can share some music. <laughs> yes, that's correct. So music, what else? Music taste, right? Or, um, or yes, share, yeah, yesterday, I'm share, sorry. Uh, yes. Um, weaknesses. Weaknesses. Strength. Strengths, right? Right? Perfect. Illnesses too, right? Etc. All right? Illnesses, yes. Sorry, me faltó una L. All right, ahí está. So you can share a lot of things, right? Porque lo de ser y estar, ya saben que ser o estar, pero ser o estar qué, right? So, how are you? ¿Cómo es que están? Uh, you can share feelings, you can share your jobs, you can share names, weaknesses, strengths, illnesses, anything, right? Entonces el B, mm -hmm. it's like a Milker mansion, is to share information about a person. How are they? Who are they? ¿Quiénes son? Right? Because when wow. you want to know somebody, you ask them, who are you, right? What is your name? Because we all have a name, right? Um, when share, we are born, uh, everybody. Mm -hmm. We can share uh, knowledge. We can share what, I'm sorry? Uh, knowledge. Uh, with ideas. Perfect. Ideas. Um, religions, right? Religions. Um, Political views, right? Etc. Right? For example, okay. let's go with feelings. Ya vimos una. Right? Feelings. How are you feeling right now, guys? ¿Cómo es que se sienten ahorita? Are you happy? Are you tired? Are you sad? Are you angry? Or Hangry, that is a mix from angry and hungry, <laughs> right? So for example, I am happy, right? I was happy. Let's go with uh, a job. I am a teacher, right? I was a teacher, ¿verdad? Ya tenemos ahí jobs, vamos a ponerlo aquí. Feelings. Vamos a ponerlo aquí. Jobs or professions, right? Let's go with weaknesses. I am. Can you tell me a weakness, guys? Hmm? Nadie tiene debilidades aquí. <laughs> I am a perfectionist, all right? I was a perfectionist, perfectionist, right? Weaknesses. Um, I am. I am, I am to talk. I am? I am to talk. Too talkative like this? Yeah. I am to uh, have Lantina. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you think that is a, a strength? I, <laughs> I was a uh, strength. Strength. Uh, illnesses. I am sick, right? I was sick illnesses, right? Uh, origin, I am from El Salvador. I was from El 
Salvador Origin. Nosotros no lo vamos a tocar porque, porque no. <laughs> They are a very, very, very delicate topic. So let's not, let's leave it like that. Dejémoslos ahí que tranquilitos están. <laughs> Religion and political views, all right? Or ideas, right? So if you see guys, that's it. That's the verb to be. Eso es el verbo to be. No hay que tenerle miedo, all right? Porque esto es, all right? Yes, we say cero estar, right? Because that's that's the um, that's the definition by the dictionary. But how are you going to use it in real life? Pero cómo lo vamos a ocupar en la vida real? Like this, you you just share information, right? You just uh, you just say how are you feeling? You say your job, um, your name, right? Porque cuando ustedes se presentan, se acuerdan el primer día cuando se presentaron? You said I am. Jennifer Valiente, I am Astrid Sanchez, I am uh, Dave, I am Jorge, I am Marcela, I am uh, Amilcar, I am Gerardo, I am Erica, right? Vicky, Mayoret, right? Everybody presenting themselves. So that's it. Eso es todo. So don't be afraid of the verb to be, guys. All right? Um, right? So that's that's it, right? Or proud having witnesses you met. Yes, it can be acne weaknesses, all right? Esta, este solo es un ejemplo mío, <laughs> all right? So this is just, that's just me. Um, you can share any weaknesses, right? For example, you have to know your weaknesses and your strengths, guys, well, because when you go to a, to a job interview, they're going to ask you both, all right? Cuando vayan una entrevista de trabajo, les van a preguntar de los dos. So it's good that you know your weaknesses and strengths. All right, es bueno que ustedes sepan sus debilidades y fortalezas. Because if the interviewer sees um, hesitation, do you know what is hesitation, guys? Lo vamos a poner por aquí. Dudas. Mm -hmm. Hesitation is, is dudas, que ustedes dudan. Uh, when you don't know what is something, right? Cuando ustedes no saben qué es algo, right? que no los ven con seguridad, then you're going to miss the job, right? Entonces no les van a dar el trabajo, right? Even though you are capable for it, but if they notice hesitation, they will mark it down. They will flag it, all right? And they will say, mm, yes, this person is capable, but he hesitates too much, right? Esta persona es capaz, pero duda mucho, right? That they are capable of doing it, right? That is correct, Dave. Hesitation is like having doubts. Um, and yes, that's correct. You can also show it with your body language, right? Lo pueden mostrar con su lenguaje corporal. If you're moving too much, if you're tiptoeing it, or if you are moving your feet too much, um, you just need to stand still, right? They're not gonna do anything to you, all right? They cannot kill you. So don't, don't worry about the interviewers. So guys, what do I want you to practice today? Yes, lo que quiero que practiquemos. Lo voy a poner aquí abajo y en el chat. Let's practice. Practice. Verb to be. In the past form. Para que se les haga más fácil. Let's make the sentence in present and then translate that to, a, 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 to the past, all right? ¿Cómo se le va a hacer más fácil? Hagan la oración en presente y luego traduzcan al pasado. And if you see, you just change one word, all right? Solo se cambia una palabra, sí o no, right? If you notice here, you just change this one to this one, right? Pretty easy. Once you know it, una vez que lo conocen, ustedes ya saben qué es lo que van a cambiar. Guys, antes de que nos veamos en la práctica, ¿está claro esto? ¿Le gustaría que lo vuelva a explicar? Si no me responden, voy a tomar su silencio como sí. Only to talk with the silences, with the past. B. 
That is correct. That's what I want you to do. Eso es lo único que quiero que hagan. Y ya pusimos ejemplos acá. Si yeah. se fijan, literalmente de cualquier cosa pueden hablar. ¿Sí? Eh, no solamente de quién son o cómo están. Right? You can share pretty much anything. Pueden compartir casi que cualquier cosa con esto. All right? So good? Good. All right. Awesome then. So let's go ahead and practice. I'm going to separate you by groups. And let's see. So you have a good time to practice. I'm going to separate you by trios. All right. Lo puedes separar en trios. So please accept the invitation. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be here. Yes, in my case, I say I was very busy because I was studying uh, with with my mom, and, and later I was I was eat pupusas with with all family this night this night. Sometimes, yeah. For example, yesterday, I, I, I was, I was with my boyfriend, boyfriend, and, and sometimes we we ate we we ate boy we we ate chicken we ate chicken <laughs> and sometimes uh, we 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 were uh, we we were it's correct teacher we were go, going to the supermarket. Yes, it's correct. Mm -hmm. We or we were going si solo es simple past, uh, We were uh, we went to the supermarket. See si a simple past, uh, pero. Ah. We were going to the supermarket. That's okay. Uh, we were going to the supermarket, and later, uh, later, I, I, I was talking with with him, mm. and ah. And I was I was dri driving. I, I no I was practicing driving. I said yeah. I was practicing practicing the car.
they do us a day very, very relaxed because because the 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 stars the stars and the soul uh, are very are very are very uh, I don't know what I can say uh, la ventas están como tranquilas okay in that case we we finish uh, early in the evening Eh, la venta es tan tranquila, por eso terminamos un poco, más o menos. Ok. Mm. And you? Okay. Eh, do you work? Yes. Eh, uh, what, what did you do? Is call center. But um, really, yes, it is the case. Pero no, no contestamos llamadas, sino que awesome, awesome. <laughs> es como validación de unos documentos. Pero, o sea, siempre es el call center, pero no contestamos llamadas. Ah, okay, but don't, don't speak English. Uh, in the no. Wow. I have a question. He, for example, he likes uh, the pork. The pork. Uh, no estamos usando el verbo to be porque likes ya está. Es un verbo, pero está. No sé, teacher. Exacto. O sea, sí está correcto, pero ahí Ajá. sí no está ocupando el verbo to be. Podría ser que he is a player, es un jugador. Ahí sí están ocupándolo. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. Pero no es que esté incorrecto, está bien, solo no están ocupando el verbo to be. Ah, ok. Uh, okay. O, o sea que al final el verbo, eh, el, el verbo to be eh, está tal cual, pero están ya los verbos conjugados, entiendo. Likes, eh, no, no sé. Sí, o sea, sí está correcto, digamos, light, sí. presente sí. simple, light, sí. pasado simple. Ajá, sí. usted puede conjugarlos, exacto. Pero ahí sí ya, este, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, es otro verbo. Es, no, es ya otro no verbo. Es Ajá, ya no es el be. Ajá, porque ah, el be, digamos, por sí solito es un verbo que ah, comunica okay. todas esas cosas. Right? Like ah. es otro verbo de gustar. Eh, ah, have okay. es otro verbo de tener. Ajá. Ah, okay, okay. Ajá. Y digamos, el to be es el de los pocos que cambia de un pronombre a otro. Porque solo con yo va a ser am. Ah, solo okay. con la tercera persona es is y con plural es are. Por eso are. es que ajá, se, le, se le dice verb to be. Porque digamos, es el único que cambia de un pronombre a otro. Pero de ahí los demás verbos, si se fija, es el mismo. Like, mm -hmm. likes. Have. Has. Ajá, el único que cambia sería para tercera persona de los demás. Ah, Pero de ahí digamos que este es el único rebelde que tiene tres. Por eso es que se estudia tanto, teacher. <laughs> yes, okay. that's correct. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, okay. Oh, entonces okay. sería, entonces sería correcto. He is a swimmer. Swimmer. Mm -hmm. He is yes. a swimmer. Sí, sí, yes. sí lo estamos ocupando. Right. Yes, yes. Ah, yes. Y el verbo en sí es, o sea, el am, um, are, is, o en past, was, were. Yes, that's right. Ok, ok, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ok. Mm, other examples. For examples, um, I am from... I am from San Salvador. You? And you, mm. Patricia? Mm. <laughs> I am from Apopa. I am from, okay, okay. Apopa, Plaza Mundo, Apopa. Apopa City. Apopa City. 
Ok, qué bueno. Um, okay. Vamos a buscar. I am, um, vamos a ver. Política, view, view, política, view, idea, origin, religions, um, strength, strengths. Strengths es um, como debilidades, debilidades, I don't remember. Strengths, Entonces, vamos a ver. Strengths es strength. Fortaleza son a ah, la fortaleza. Strength. Ah, yeah. Strength. Ok. Ok. Más que todo son oraciones como de información de uno mismo. Yeah. Sí, mm -hmm. sí. En general es información. Share okay. information about a person. Uh -huh. de como description. Um, Uh, vamos a ver y de chu um, vamos a ver where where uh, for example where are you where are you where are you job um, where are you job What is, no. what is your job, Sería? ¿A dónde trabaja? Where? What is, where is, is your job? What is your job? Ajá, que ¿a dónde está el trabajo? No, don't, no teacher, ¿dónde trabajas? Ah, sorry, uh -huh. <laughs> lo había entendido where? mal. Ah, entonces ahí sería diferente. Where do you work? Where do you work? Mm -hmm. Where do you work? Ok, thank you. Patricia, where do you work? Um, I am work. Pero para hacerlo un poquito más natural y más espontáneo, uh, lo que puedes decir, I was with my parents. Eso sí está bien. I like it. I love it. Increíble, jo uh, awesome job. Pero puedes decir, cuando mi girlfriend me llamó, right? When my girlfriend called me, right? Ajá, para, para decir, o sea, ¿quién te llamó? Porque la importancia de la otra oración, ¿quién es? No es el my, ni es el call me. ¿Quién es? Girlfriend. Es ella, ¿verdad? Yeah. Entonces, ¿quién es quién ella? ¿En quién se convierte ella? When my, uh, when my friend call me, when my uncle call me, when my grandmother call me. Ajá, entonces, ahí sí tenés que ser en, en, enfático, ¿verdad? Tratar mm. de poner un poquito más de énfasis, porque si yo estoy contigo y vos me decís, ah, ah, was with... me estás contando una historia, ¿verdad? Me la estás contando porque quieres que te escuche y quieres que, que, quieres que yo la, la sepa también, ¿verdad? Como entre amigos uno se cuenta las cosas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ajá. Entonces, si, si yo te estoy contando algo y vos me decís, I was with my parents when she called me, y, o sea, yo, yo me voy a quedar un poquito así dudoso y voy a decir, bueno, ¿quién es ella? Y si tengo la confianza, te lo pregunto. ¿Quién te habló? ¿Verdad? Pero si no la tengo, tal vez me quede callado y solo voy a tener la duda en la mente. Pero ahí sí tenés que ser un poquito más enfático. Ajá. When my girlfriend called me. Ajá. Pero la oración, when she called me, y así, eh, ¿cómo se le llama esto? Eh, en el papel, como, gramaticalmente está bien. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Si anticipadamente ya se dijo de quién se está hablando, when she called me. Ajá. ¿Verdad? Entonces, hay disculpa, bro, de que te haga larga la explicación, pero I'm here to help you. Estoy aquí para ayudarlos. Ok, thanks a lot. Eh. Uh -huh. No problem. Yeah. I, I, like, I like your explanation. Uh -huh. <laughs> explanation. Um, uh, or how do you say it in this case? Uh -huh. uh, we put me on, in the me pusiste en duda ahorita. No me acuerdo cómo es explication. 
explanation. No, no, no. Explanation. explanation. Yes. Ah, explanation. 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 Okay. Go, yes. Thank you, Coach. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so. Explanation. Ah, uh, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> it's one English. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, it's but... casi lo mismo, <laughs> so it's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, repeat the example. Okay, sorry, I don't understand. Uh, repeat the example. Ah, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the example is... Uh, uh, I was um, with my parents yeah. when when my girlfriend uh, called me. No, when okay. my girlfriend yeah. called me. Uh -huh. What did you say first? Sorry? Uh, what did you say uh, first? ¿Qué dijiste primero? Antes de esta última oración. Before uh, this uh, sentence. Sentences, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You say girlfriend, uh, you already said girlfriend, acabas de decir eh, novia, ¿verdad? Pero yes. antes de esa oración. Uh, I was uh, with uh -huh. my parents. Uh -huh. And then? And where? Where? No, mm -hmm. when? 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 When, when, okay, okay. Uh -huh. yeah. When my girlfriend called me. Okay, okay. So that's, that's all, bro. That's, that's correct. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Can you give me a second a, a second example? Can you give me? If you uh, don't want, don't worry. Don't worry. I will help you. If you want, say the first uh, sentences and then I will say the second one. Si quieres decir una oración y yo la complemento con lo demás. Ah, for uh, the 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 first. Uh... Yeah, the, 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 first, the, the, the first. No, 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 no. Another example. Otro ejemplo con la misma estructura, verdad? Usando el was, verdad? Y poniéndole la otra oración. Si querés, tú di la primera, yo digo la segunda, o yo puedo decir la primera y tú dices la segunda. La complementas mm -hmm. tú, ¿no? There is not a problem. Okay. Yeah. Uh, for example, I was the church. Uh, uh -huh. Es la que habíamos dicho antes. Uh, uh, yeah, when, no. uh -huh. Or try to use another one, not just the another. church. Tr ah, okay, try, okay. To, try to use another verb, another place. Juega con ella, juega con las palabras. Bro. Esta oh. onda es, es como, es como yeah. un juego. It's like a play. It's like a game, I'm sorry. You use what you think. No, no, what you have. Los, usas lo que tenés. Usas ah, lo que tenés. Y aquí tenemos un vergasal de verbos. We have a lot of, of verbs to use. Divertito, no lo veas como una... Como algo, una presión, así que, puya, lo tengo que decir bien. No, brother, conmigo no tengas pena. Aquí nos vamos a equivocar todos y orgullosos de eso. <laughs> ok, thanks a lot. Huh? Uh, I was uh, uh, in the park. Yes. I'm sorry. I was uh, in the park. Yesterday. But there are very, pro they're very prominent. It's very low. It's... Uh, no influence the 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 conversion don't listen well or oh, it's a problem. You don't you don't have. Yes, a, it's true. I also yeah I I also have connectivity problem. <laughs> I don't listen. Uh, okay. That change the company. No, I understand. <laughs> we need change. We, we which is the better? Which is the better in Salvador for you? Uh, is all, the... All is the same. Oh, all, all the same. Movistar is good. No, Movistar. No, no, uh, that... Movistar. No. Tigo. I, I have Tigo, but it does paint that claro. I think so. It does I think so. It's the same. Yeah, it does same. No, no. Don't uh, run. Don't run. Wrong. Hey guys, if if are you taking the time for reading uh, English and watch TV in English? 
right right now I have time, but a, a time ago I don't have in practice. Right now uh, I tell tell uh, Gerard uh, I have a vacation. In this vacation, I going to practice very, very, very English. Okay. Wow. Good, guys. Wow, it's full time. That time is very fast. Hey, Elvin. Yeah. What happened with the hamburger in Santa Tecla? Ah, oh, very delicious. It is very, very delicious. I remember you at the time. Ah, oh, really? I need to go there. I need to go right there. there. <laughs> it's very delicious. I don't remember the name. Oh. I don't remember the name. There are some names. There are um main names. Um, let me see. I let me see the name. There are many names. Jessica Abigail say oh, the really? name. Excuse me. Jessica Abigail uh, say the name. Ah, oh, really? Really? Ah, uh, you remember? Y Jessica. I don't with know. Us? Oh no. And you no. Wait, I need asking the teacher about the hamburger in Santa Tecla. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> uh, Mike's burger. Mike's burger. You remember? Teacher. Yes. I said Jorge. Jorge, Jorge oh, you remember Mike. Monstro burger? Yes, Mike's Mike's burger. Yeah, yeah Monst Monster Burger. Next. The Bikini. La Vikinga. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. It's very, very good. It's a guilty Pepe, pleasure. <laughs> Pepe el Toro. I was, <laughs> yes. I was in Santa Tecla. Yeah. I was in Santa Tecla the last week, but la I don't I bone, don't man. know the address about from the restaurant. I need to okay. know the restaurant. Where is it the name? Uh, ahí lo mandé el chat. Mike's Burger. Mike's Burger. Mike's yeah. Burger. Hey, yes. thank you, teacher. Good job. You're good welcome. Job. Awesome. Good job, teacher. <laughs> thank I try, you. I, I try uh, how I am big and Monster Burger. It's amazing. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, I'm going to go back there <laughs> now that you reminded me. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go back. Let's go. Okay. No problem. Thank you. All right, then. Nice You're welcome. You. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Nice meeting you. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, bye, bye. Hello. Oi, I was on mute. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, guys, it's a pretty good place. We were talking with Jorge. I was just talking to Alon. <laughs> I'm sorry, no me había fijado. Oh, maybe somebody disconnected. Yes, all right. Okay, good. All right, guys, so I see it's already time. Como les dije, uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Is, uh, are we good? Are we doing good? Estamos bien con la práctica? Do you have any questions about it? No? Good? Everything good? It's good. En español. Ok, dígame. Sí, sería ideal practicar un poquito más. Bueno, yo sé que ahorita ya prácticamente faltan tres días. Porque hay compañeros que todavía les cuesta. Sí, podemos Porque hacer eso. No, no, no se tiene vocabulario, se les es un poco difícil. Ok. Entonces, ¿podemos hacer eso mañana? Este, ¿Le voy a enviar por la mañana el vocabulario que practicaríamos sí. en en la noche para que tengan tiempito de verlo, all right? Para no okay. solo enseñarlo aquí, sino que lo puedan revisar, all right? Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome, guys. So I'm happy that I got to see you again, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Take care and have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, guys. Sure. Thank, Thank you, you too. Bye bye. Good night. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye, everybody. Bye bye. Take care.
Yeah. See you. Take care. See you. Take care.